Said, this is like a gorilla interview. We're on the street corner outside of the Echo in Los Angeles with uh, David from Tahiti Boy and the Palm Tree family. Indeed. I am Colette Claire with Mixdown.com. So yay, we've established all of that. Uh, anyways, so I guess first things first. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about like how the band started? I mean, it's fairly new, and you just had your debut album. So. Yeah. Well, basically, I knew everyone in the band. And uh, but they didn't know each other, and at some point I went to see a few shows. I was playing in different bands in Paris and before that in New York, and um, I went to see a few shows. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. I guess I'll, I'll put a band together. And I just called them. Like uh, the bass player is my uh, brother-in-law. The guitar, one of the guitar players is is my like my best friend. Um, my uh, the, the percussion player was my roommate. I mean, you know, it's a big. Um, like a collective, I guess. And I knew everyone. Some of them knew each other, but most of them did not. And um, then I, I kind of gathered everyone for, a, you know, like a couple of rehearsals, and it, it ended up being really cool. And it's been like that for uh, two and a half years now. So obviously, you went to uh, Juilliard, right, in New York, even though. Are you originally from France, though, right? Yeah, I'm from Paris. Well, yeah, I went there, but just for a year, and I was. Uh, like interning, it was mixed, like I had some classes and then I had to work to pay for the fee, it was like a weird year. But yeah, I, I went there and I, I, I still have some good friends, but I, I think I'm the only one uh, of the whole crew uh, doing music that is not jazz or classical. <laughs> yeah. So then, I mean, it wasn't intended necessarily to be a super group because I know everybody kind of plays in other like well-known bands. I mean, they happen to be your friends anyway. Exactly, yeah. We were in school together. We were, um, once again, we were roommates. We were just friends. And all my friends at some point, all, all the, well, not all my friends, but all the people I wanted to play with were my friends. You know, I didn't have to make phone calls and call like a record company or a booking agent saying, hey, you know this guy, I like the, I like the way he plays drums. No, we were all friends, we had played in different bands. Um, you know, like, we hadn't played together that much, but like the, 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 the drummer's band, um, we, we had shared like a, a few bills together. So it, kinda, it was kind of like easy to, to have this network and because we were friends, it actually worked really well. We were the kind of band at the beginning, we would like uh, rehearse for a couple hours, and then go for a five five hours party or something like that. You know, we were like, okay, well, it's good because we're friends. Like, the rehearsal basically won't stop at the end of the rehearsal time, you know? <laughs> it turned into a party. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you're the main songwriter, right? Or do you guys actually jam? I mean, it's such a huge band. Well, so far, I'm the main one, but I'm really pushing the others to um, compete. <laughs> no, well, yeah. I'm the main songwriter, but they do bring their own um, flavor to the song I'm proposing. You know, when I'm proposing a song, they, um, I'm like, hey, um, this is what I hear. What do you think? And if if they say, well, this is great, I'll just play it, and and everyone's happy. If like I don't know, if the bass player says, well, I got a better idea, and then if he plays it and it's it's cool, then. He, he wins. <laughs> if it's not as cool as my idea, then he loses. You know? <laughs> so then That's you pretty win. simple. You know, um, Tom York from Radiohead once said that um, Radiohead was kind of like the uh, United Nations, but he was the United States. States. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel. It's like, we're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're the United Nations and I'm the United States. <laughs> so, but we share, uh, you know, lots of things. Uh, we agree on arrangements because we like the same things. Basically, it's not a, it's not like a, a hard thing to do to uh, bring a song and have them play something cool, you know. Right. So, uh, is it hard for them to find time with their other projects for this, yeah. or is this everyone's kind of main focus right now? Well, in the group. Okay, when when you say uh, to a bunch of Parisian dudes like, hey, you know what, we're going to New York and LA, then it becomes their main thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, it's not hard to get them because they all play really well, so we don't really need to rehearse that much. So we basically just rehearse when we have a show, I mean, a tour, a show, or a recording session. And so basically, 
Sometimes they're free for like two months and then I call them up and I'm like, okay, we're gonna have three days of rehearsals. And it's like, it's, it's not like I need them every week, three days a week. It's something that we can set up pretty easily. So, and, be, and you know, and it's cool because it keeps the, uh, the, the, the songs pretty fresh. Because this album that's being released now in the States was released in France about a year and a half ago. So basically the songs that we play now were written like three and a half years ago. But because we don't rehearse that much and well, we, we did a big tour in France and we, we did some shows like in uh, London and uh, uh, Holland, you know, we, we went all around Europe. But like for the States, we hadn't been playing these songs for a while. And because we were not rehearsing so much, they're still fresh. So it's cool. We're not getting bored at playing those songs. Still has the and and uh, yeah, 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 a good song is, all, is still a good song, I guess. And it's always a pleasure to play them, you know. Did you, oh, did you originally envision it with that? Did you always say, I'm going to have... You know, seven people in my band, and just like, kind of build up. I like bands with lots of people. You know, I like Sly and the Family Stone. I like Chick Chick Chick. I like uh, um, P Funk. You know, <laughs> I like yeah. I like bands that that are hard to take on tour. <laughs> 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 I like I like calling promoters and saying yeah. You know, remember we're seven people, and they're like ah oh, really? <laughs> I like that. That that's a <laughs> hey. Um, we're gonna need to rent some backline. Okay, like. How many people? Seven. Are you really? You know, it's cool. Yeah, I like trouble. I guess. <laughs> Make it extra fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's always exactly. good. No. Oh, I want to ask you. About, there's a kind of a comp. Um, God, what is the word I wanted? I can't think of the word right now. Uh, you did a song with a dude from TV on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to collaboration. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so how did that come about? <laughs> uh, we're friends. Like oh, I, I live. Yeah, I live nearby his place, and uh, we liked each other, like each other's work and everything. And um, oh, this is LA trucks all I around. Know, it was like really quiet when we were sitting here earlier. And then we sat down, and then like every person in car had to drive oh, that's by. That's cool. I mean, this is real. This is real. This, <laughs> this is, is no, like I said. This is this the is room. no like uh, made up bullshit. You know, this is this is real, yo. This is raw <laughs> interview journalism. Yeah. So, well, yeah, we, and we became friends, and we played some music, and he sings a song on the on the record, you know. And he came actually. He came to friends to play a few shows with us. He's like uh, supporting a lot and. You know, following the, the what we're doing, and of course we, we're following what he's doing. But it's cool because uh, once again, it's yeah, like you said, it's it's another friend who happens to be a gifted musician. So it's pretty cool. It's not like my friends are all like working in uh, all the kind of business or whatever, and I was looking for hookups or anything. It's like it just happened because. You know, pretty easy. Like I sent the song, he liked it. I'm like, do you want to sing? Yeah, I want to sing. Okay, let's do it. It was cool. It was like very smooth. Nice. So, man, how do you know so many cool musicians? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm very rich. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a wealthy as a wealthy. How do you say wealthy? Wealthy? Yeah, I have, yeah, I have, like, billions of dollars, in in, in my bank account, and so it's easy for me to connect with people. You know, I called the agents and I'm like, hey, I love Bob Dylan. How about recording a song with him? And they're like, no, no way. I'm like, yo, I got mad bucks for you. And then, <laughs> that's easy. That's how it, ha that's how it happened. That's just, that's just yeah, how you roll. That's just how, yeah. <laughs> so what does uh, the future hold as far as albums and giant uh, tours and yeah, crazy well, parties? Yeah, if, if, by the way, if there's a party going on tonight, I don't know when the video is going to be uh, on on the net but you know we're looking for a party anyway <laughs> what was it? oh what's the future gonna be all right well we we once again we've been pretty lucky because last year we uh, were lucky enough to record an album with this great band called Os Mutantes from Brazil and so Sergio Diaz the the singer guitar player came to Paris and we actually co-wrote the whole record and then recorded with the whole Ben, the, the Palm Tree family, and he was there, and we recorded the album. And then um, we were looking for a couple guests, you know, to sing with us, and we got Jane Birkin and uh, Iggy Pop, which was cool. So, and this is coming out sometimes in the next 12 months. 
I guess. Uh, hopefully in Europe uh, before um, Christmas time. And then the US, I don't know. So this is it. And then I've also started to work on a new record because I had some time, and which sounds totally different. And I'm working on this th on this thing with um, Terrorbird, you know, the promotion company. They're putting, they're, like they're releasing uh, singles. And so we're um, trying to put that together, like do a collaboration with other artists from the States and release two new tracks on this thing called Friends of Friends. And this is, if this works out, as well as it's supposed to, this should be out by July. Nice. And then, I don't know, and then I guess we'll be moving to LA because we love it, you know? <laughs> Are you really? I don't know, it's a weird city, but so far it's been friendly. So. It can be friendly, there's a lot to do. Are you from here? Yeah, pretty much born and raised. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm a good judge of what it's like anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I know, like it here. Yeah, you're probably a good judge because, like, it's like when I, if I talk about Paris, well, if there's someone who might either love it or hate it, I guess it's someone who spent a lot of time. So, if you love it, I guess it is doing good. And, and yeah. yeah, I've been here this long and I still like it. Either I'm insane or it's a really cool place to be. Or so. both. Or both. Yeah. <laughs>